Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7. Seven minutes of nonstop local news starts now. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. Let's get started with our top stories this morning, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. Vice President Kamala Harris is coming to Las Vegas today. The vice president and her husband are coming to promote the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan that President Joe Biden signed into law last week. Harris is scheduled to visit the COVID-19 vaccine clinic at UNLV. She will be at the Culinary Academy of Las Vegas at 1.45 p.m. We will bring you complete coverage of her visit on LVRJ.com. In other news, a man was killed Sunday after being hit by a driver who fled the scene in downtown Las Vegas. Metro police say the man was hit by a white Ford pickup truck around 4.37 p.m. on the sidewalk of East Sahara Avenue. He later died at the hospital. This week is Sunshine Week, a national celebration of open access to government records. And according to a poll, a majority of Nevadans would not vote for a candidate whose office broke public record laws. The Nevada poll surveyed 500 likely voters across the state by phone and online from February 26th to March 1st. 64 percent say they would not support a candidate whose office disobeys record rules, while only 10 percent say they would support such a candidate. The wife of a Wynn Las Vegas security guard killed by a co-worker last week says the couple were days away from moving into their first home together in Henderson. Marjorie Almonte said her husband, Yosef, a former Marine, had a goal of becoming a nurse. And he was going to finish EMT this year. He's like, okay, I'm going to go to Pueblo College three days a week. It's only an hour and a half, but I'll be back on time. He said this will be perfect. She also shared what police told her about the gunman, who also killed himself and had been missing for four days before the shooting. He was targeting his ex-wife. Wow. They had divorced two years ago. And he was waiting for her. Fun. Yeah, he had parked near where she was parked, waiting for her to come out. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental Love Your Smile Again, almost everyone has been impacted by COVID in some capacity. Healthcare workers are seeing casualties and miracles up close and personal every day. The Review Journal's Jen Ah shares one story. Jen? Well, Renee, our team of reporters interviewed nine workers last week and found that despite all their hardships, there's something else they gained, resilience. The ICU medical director at Southern Hills Hospital, Dr. Christopher Voskopoulos, says at first, COVID patients were dying all around him. That was before vaccines, before any new treatments. After brainstorming, he says certain techniques, such as having patients lie on their stomachs rather than their backs, helped giving them encouragement, telling them that they would make it. And what that taught me was that even in the darkest moment, when you don't think that we have any solutions, there is always hope. There's always a way forward. He remains optimistic, but also says he'll never forget the ones he couldn't save. To hear more personal stories, go to LVRJ.com. Renee. Now let's take a look at our local weather, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Happy Monday, everyone. We're going to see scattered showers mainly after 1 p.m., increasing cloud coverage with a 40% chance of rain, high of near 64 degrees and breezy conditions. Winds could gust as high as 34 miles per hour tonight. More scattered shower possibilities with a mix of snow after midnight. For the rest of the week, temperatures will start to increase, getting into the mid to upper 70s. Clear skies for your evenings, which will be in the high 40s to mid to upper 50s. Once again, thank you for telling your friends and neighbors about 7 at 7 on YouTube. And don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe down below. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, here's another sign that the Las Vegas tourism industry is bouncing back. Suites at the Palazzo are now available seven days a week again. Las Vegas Sands, which operates the Palazzo, closed the hotel suites in December in response to decreased demand due to COVID-19, while its casinos, shops, and restaurants remained open. This month, Sands agreed to sell the Palazzo and other Las Vegas assets for six and a quarter billion dollars. Sports, sponsored by Scenic Brewing Company. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Leandre Fox here with your sports update. Faith Lutheran opened up their spring football season with an impressive 41-20 victory over Moapa Valley. 
Neither team had played football in nearly a year and a half due to the pandemic. And Faith Lutheran CEO Steve Buck says the return to the field is what high school is all about. Hey, this is a huge day. We've been waiting for this thing since last August. If you would have told me we were going to play on a day that it was going to snow out here and our opening football game in March, we still would have taken the deal. Uh, this is just great for kids. This, this is what high school is all about. Well, you know, we looked at Australian schools and Chinese schools back in May that were opening back up, and so we had a pretty good uh, view that this thing is going to work with schools, that it wasn't going to spread, and so we, we took the chance right away in August and brought our kids back, and we've tried to make school as normal as possible with after-school activities, practices, distancing and masks, right? That stuff they told us to do, it all works. And so it's really neat to see it come to fruition with high school sports today. With this sports betting update, I'm Cassie Soto. It's been two long years since we've been able to fill out brackets and place bets on the NCAA tournament. With four of the most compelling days on the sports calendar starting Friday, you can find some betting tips at LVRJ.com that will hopefully help you win a few bucks amid the madness. 17 of the last 18 NCAA champions have ranked in the top 20 in the offensive and defensive efficiency ratings on KenPalm.com. Only four fit the criteria this year. Gonzaga, Michigan, Illinois, and Houston. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, U.S. News and World Report has released its rankings of U.S. states. Nevada came in 37th overall, but it leads the pack in one particular category. According to the magazine, Nevada came in first place in the infrastructure category, which looks at things like the quality of the state's bridges, public transportation, and power grid. Nevada also came in sixth for its economy, but ranked last in natural environment. Washington was first in the overall rankings, followed by Minnesota and Utah. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Las Vegas Motor Speedway, you might remember a month ago we told you about a black-owned business specializing in all things cereal. Well, now we can tell you that they are expanding. The Cereal Killer's Kitchen will open a location at the Miracle Mile Shops at Planet Hollywood Resort. Co-owner Chris Burns said opening on the strip is a dream come true. Serial Killers also plans to open a shop in Henderson in early June, and the owners are partnering with a friend to open up a location in Goodyear, Arizona. Well, that's all for today's 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. Remember, the Las Vegas Review Journal brings you 7 at 7 weekdays at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. on LVRJ.com. You can also download our free RJ mobile app to get news alerts sent straight to your phone. And you can also find us on Roku, Alexa, and more. We hope you'll join us again this evening for 7 at 7 p.m. See you then. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.